Good morning, everyone. My name is Joanna Beelan, and I serve as the Director of Public Education and Community Engagement here at the Attorney General's Office. Um, it is my privilege to welcome everyone this morning as we have the opportunity and honor to commemorate with those loved ones who have fallen victims to crime in this state. While we cannot fathom what you and your family go through, especially as the holiday nears, please know that we stand here not only today, but throughout the years as your support system, your advocate, and your shoulder to lean on. Again, thank you for allowing us to honor your loved ones here today. As we begin our program, I would like to ask Brother Dylan to lead us in prayer. Let us bow our heads, please. Father, it is with great confidence that we come to you today, knowing that you are our God and that you are watching over us today. God, at this time, at Christmas time, there is such a joy that wants to fill our hearts, but God, we are saddened by the memory of what will not, or who will not be with us at Christmas this year. God, we are filled with the memory of our loved ones. Lord, we want to wake up on Christmas morning to see them, to hear their voice, to feel their hugs. And God, we are, we are subject to our emotions today that are filled with frustration and the injustice. But God, we are confident that you are the judge of all the earth. And shall not the judge of all the earth do what is right? God, you will do what is right to help bring justice to our situations, many situations. God, I pray for these wonderful, precious people that have gathered here today that you would comfort them. God, let the light, the light that is so beautiful, that indicates hope, let it fill our hearts today. I remember, oh God, your word, the shepherds who were watching their sheep on hillsides. Suddenly the night sky was lit with angels as they proclaimed, Behold, I bring you good tidings of great <coughs> joy. For unto you is born this day a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. God, I want to thank you that just as in that day you brought hope to people who were enduring the injustice of a government called Rome. God, you are going to bring hope to us today. And I thank you, dear Lord, that your hope is steadfast. It is sure. I bless these wonderful people today that as their laughter is filled with crying and their joy is also filled with tears, you would remind them, God, there will be a glad reunion one day. And one day we will see our loved ones again. God, we give you great praise for this hope here at Christmas time. And we bless these wonderful people in Jesus' name. Would everybody say amen? Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to each and every one of you. We're so honored to have you and your families with us today for this Christmas tree dedication for crime victims. My name is Mary Helen Mall, and it is my pleasure to get to introduce to you Attorney General Lynn Fitch. From our agency support staff, investigators, advocates, and her deputies, General Fitch has instilled in each of us empathy for the path that crime victims walk. From their first steps when they are still reeling from the criminal violation to the time when they can call themselves survivors, General Fitch and every one of us walk beside them. Projects like the development of our state's new domestic violence registry and protection order registry that could just be about process and procedure are so much more than technical programs to General Fitch. They are the building blocks that a victim uses to build a new life with dignity and hope. I'm proud to work in an office and for an attorney general who is so passionate about the people we serve and who remembers that crime is not a statistic but a tragic event in human lives. Please join me in welcoming Attorney General Lynn Fitch to the podium.
Mary Helen, thank you for those kind words. It's certainly an honor to serve as your Attorney General and to work with an incredible team. You always have the heart and the compassion for all Mississippians. I'm so honored, of course, to be here with you today, and all of you, and thank you for taking the time to be here in this very important occasion. To show our respect, our support, for our fellow Mississippians who all have been victims of crime, which in itself is very hard to even think about or even fathom being the victims of crime. You know, there's a special power in bringing all the survivors together. That's why it's so beneficial that we are here hand in hand. But during this holiday season, it is a time of love and hope and faith. So to all of you who are here as victims of crime, who have suffered, who have endured, and those of you who are here as family members, who are here in the support of all, who have been through it, your loved ones. I certainly want to express my deepest admiration for each of you and the respect for the strength that you have all shown in every step of the journey that you've been on, whether it's yourself or those loved ones that you've missed and you've supported who've been through horrific times. I know that when you've been victimized by a criminal act, it feels like a very lonely place for all of you. It's hard to imagine what you've all been through. It's hard to believe that your loved ones suffer like that. No matter what the crime, you are enduring those moments, and it's very challenging. No one's hard to ever feel or understand your pain or your loss or the suffering that you have day in and day out. Just when you think you've gotten a breather from it, it still tugs at your heart. But I want you to know that we're all here for you. The Attorney General's office is here for you. And as Mary Helen said, that is one of our goals, is how we serve you, how you know that we are here with a true compassionate heart for each of you. Um, we understand that we've got to help you overcome lasting physical issues, emotional and financial challenges that you've all endured. Again, I'm so blessed. I have an incredible team that I have the opportunity to work with. And again, we truly see our roles as service, service to each of you, that we were chosen to be here to serve all of you. That is the role. This is your office. And certainly this is important to each of us. I want to take a moment and recognize our team that's dedicated professional to just that service with the Bureau of Victims Assistance, who have been doing that and will continue to do that on every step of your journey. So when I call your name here, I ask you to please stand so that again you can be recognized and then all of you that are here, you know who all to call. Director Terry Gleason. Maya Edwards, Nakia McLaurin, and Allison Bowie, Daphne Baker, Carly Garrett, Latoya Lewis, Desiree Lesh, Kathy Nolan, Myrtle McCollum, Anna Ward, Anna Claire Norman, and Mary Parker. So what you all need to understand is you are their mission. This is not a job. This is compassion. This is the love to reach out, to be there with each of you. It is truly a calling for these individuals that work on the team because they believe in a better day. They believe in helping you to achieve those better days. You know, we do this with a number of partners because again, in strength we're better. We're united when we're there supporting one another. So not only does it take the team at the Attorney General's office, but it takes so many partners. Because again, you are going through some horrific steps 
you've got a long pathway and it takes everybody to rally behind you, your family, to get to that better. And so we have a tremendous network where we've all worked with one another, public, private, federal, state, and local. Again, we want to stop the harm to our communities, and we certainly want to see justice. So I'd like to take a moment to recognize those partners that are here with us today. I'd ask that each of you, and as I call your name, if you'll stand as well. Pearlene Campbell, the Victim Services Director of the Mississippi Department of Corrections. Sarissa Eubanks, the VOCA Administrator at the Mississippi Department of Health. Ashley Lucas, Statewide Human Trafficking Coordinator at DPS. Carla Ty, the Executive Director for Children's Advocacy Centers of Mississippi as well as our partners in the Mississippi Coalition Against Sexual Assault, the FBI, Shelter and Assistance and Family Emergency, and the Mississippi Volunteer, Volunteer Nurses Program. You need to understand all these individuals are walking alongside each of you. Again, that is the mission for all of us together, is to be there in that support role. So all these individuals and these different partners that I've called out, again, we're working together. We're working for that better day, for that next step. But as to each of the team members, the partners, I appreciate your compassion, understanding our role, our mission, and again, how we can affect and make a better future for all of our victims who are suffering, who carry this heavy burden this loss, because no matter what the crime is, <clears throat> you've been harmed. You do have the struggles, and they do come every day. <clears throat> so thank you from all the teams for making a huge difference. Along with these partners, and through their certainly tireless efforts, because again, we know these crimes aren't on a clock. We know they happen 24-7. And it's our responsibility to be with each of you when it happens. It is our role to step in immediately when you need us. So our goal is always is to help for recovery with hope and with dignity for all survivors, all those who have been through horrific crimes. And so with that in mind, we re rededicate our calls, our mission, what our roles and responsibilities are to each of you so that you understand that we are here for the recovery. We're here to empower the survivors, the families, and to know that we are going to do everything within our power to be there as we look and we work for that better day. So as survivors, know that you're not alone, that everyone that stood here, everyone that raised their hand, everyone that works on our teams, we are here for you. And I hope you find comfort in that, and blessing in knowing that people care about you. And we are here on your behalf. We will always, always be unwavering advocates for you. Again, our true mission is to be supportive of you all. At this moment, I'd like to have a moment of silence so that we honor those that are no longer with us. We honor those that we, as Pastor Dillon said, that we will miss, that are not here with us in this holiday season. But we know we'll see them again. We know that God will put us all together at that right moment in heaven. So if you please bow your heads as we take a moment and we honor our victims of crime and those that have suffered. Thank you. And thanks to each of you. May God be with you and strengthen you 
to lift you up during this very special holiday season. Thank you very much. 